In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Today we're looking at Luke chapter 15, verses 8 to 10. Or what woman, having ten silver coins, if she loses one coin, does not light a lamp, sweep the house, and search carefully until she finds it? And when she has found it, she calls her friends and neighbors together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I lost. Likewise, I say to you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. And glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. In the last passage, we saw that there is the story of the good shepherd who seeks uh, the sheep who is lost, leaves the 99 and looks for the one who is lost. Today, we're looking at the woman who lost a coin and she lights a lamp and cleans the house and finds it and celebrates with her friends. And again, the Lord is telling us about how there is joy in heaven over one sinner who returns. Now, this is a bit of a spoiler. The next section is the story of the prodigal son, the father who, who finds his son who was lost, who was dead, is now alive. In this mystical chapter of Luke 15, we have a shepherd, we have a woman, and we have a father. In this beautiful passage, the, the Holy Trinity is revealed to us. No one would question, you know, that the shepherd really points to the Lord. Now, the woman here in this section points to the Holy Spirit, and obviously the Father in the next section points to the Father. And it's, it's this message of love that the, the Holy Trinity is involved and is searching us out, is seeking us who are lost, and rejoices in our return. On my wedding day, um, you know, the, the man receives, in the Coptic Orthodox tradition, he, he wears a priestly vestment, and both uh, my wife and I were crowned, and this, it's this beautiful ceremony. But I think my, the favorite part of the whole ceremony for both my wife and I was when our uh, spiritual father, uh, spoke to us at the very end of the service. He looked at me right in my eyes and he said, you know, Mark, today you're wearing clothes just like me. Uh, you know, I'm a priest and today you are ordained a priest uh, over your own household. And, and it's not just symbolic, but that really the role of the, the father and the husband in the house is to be a priest, to lay down his life for his church and to teach his church through his life then he stops and and he says and so uh, in as much as you are the priest of the family you represent christ in your family and then he stops and he turns to my wife and he says you know do not think that you have been left out if you know mark represents christ in the family then you represent the holy spirit in the family and he went on to say all of the you know the the gifts of the Holy Spirit that that a woman has and her role in the family you see both male and female were created in the image of God and if if Christ truly represents the the and points to the masculine giftings the 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 most you know the one who lays his life down for his bride, you know, the, the chivalrous, the courageous. Not that those things are not feminine as well, but, but they're more portrayed in the masculine. Well, so the Holy Spirit uh, in his beauty points to the feminine in his gentleness, in his meekness, in his nurturing character, in his, um, in how he, uh, uh, is so um, loving and 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 so here the story of the woman 
who is uh, seeking the uh, coin reminds us and points us to the Holy Spirit's work in our repentance. The Church Fathers also say that this woman uh, is the Church. And, and really when we think about it, it's, it's, it's the work of the Holy Spirit in the Church uh, that is seeking out you know, the lost coin, that's seeking out the coin that was lost. Only one out of ten. The Holy Spirit and the Church, you know, the Church and the Bride, as, as, as St. John writes uh, in the book of Revelation, are not satisfied with nine coins being found. No, there's that last coin that must be found. And so, he says here, the woman lights a lamp, sweeps the house, and searches diligently. And this is what the church must do. We must light a lamp in, in the people's hearts. We must sweep and call out for repentance and clean the heart and search diligently for the image of God in us. Now the coin here is, is, um, is representative of a, of a person. And what's interesting about a coin is that it's stamped with the image of the king. And we too were stamped with the image of our king. We are created in the image of the all holy trinity. We are created in the image of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And in that image, and because of that image that must be found after you know, lighting a lamp, sweeping, and searching diligently, that image of God must be found and restored. And it is because of that image that we are valuable, that we are precious. And so we must look at each one of us. We must look at each other as valuable, as carrying the image of God. Now we have no problem uh, of seeing our children as valuable and seeing our neighbors whom we love as valuable or, or you know, people from our church community or from our work, we can see them as valuable. But today we're seeing that every single human being created in the image of God is precious and valuable to the All Holy Trinity. Who are we to think otherwise? And maybe it is because of our lack of seeing people as valuable that we ourselves find ourselves lost. Not one soul, not one soul can be neglected. Not one human should be treated with unkindness, but rather we must love all because we are created in the image of God. And finally, um, I wanted to share with you a story that has um, that I heard a long time ago when I was a teenager, but has left an impression on my heart and really speaks of that feminine, uh, you know, aspect of nurture and care. The love of a mother is unlike any other love in this world. And it's the work of the Holy Spirit, this, this seeking out, this hovering over the water, this searching, this seeking, this uh, gentle love, but that's also, uh, you know, wild and fierce. And, and it's the story of a man who changed, uh, you know, a whole city, in fact, a whole country, and maybe, um, you know, the lives of many uh, Coptic Orthodox Christians. His name is uh, Father Beshoy Camel. Now, he, I believe he passed in 1981. And I don't, I don't remember the exact details. The, the story was told to me as a teenager, but I'll share with you the essence of the story and, and the beauty of this searching out. Well, one of his parishioners, uh, one of his uh, daughters, the, one of the, the girls from his community, uh, not his biological daughter, but one of the parishioners in his church, a girl, was, was considering leaving Christ. 
was in fact considering converting uh, to to Islam and and uh, and he heard this and uh, he asked and asked where her location was and then he found her and he you know entered the apartment with strength and said you know where's my daughter and he searched her out and they said sorry you know it's too late you can do nothing about it and the the girl herself herself said no you know father leave me and then they uh, you know stormed out of the apartment and the whole time he's saying I'm not leaving without my daughter this is my daughter they get into the car and they slam the door and and they start driving off and he's running after the car yelling my daughter my daughter and finally he holds on to the back of the you know the the bumper and he holds on and is dragged by this vehicle yelling they're taking my daughter they're taking my daughter finally the girl you know stops and asks them to stop the car and she comes out this this image of the priest you know father bishoy hanging back of the truck of the car and calling out for his daughter is is such a beautiful icon of the holy spirit or the church or the the work of the holy spirit in the church to seek out her children who are lost. May today we see the whole world and everyone created in the world in the image of God as precious. May we also recognize our need for lighting a lamp, sweeping up and cleaning up the heart through the work of the Holy Spirit in order to find the image of God again. And may today we rejoice and help heaven to rejoice by repenting. Have a beautiful day.